some at a cost. There are other free options here in the Ozarks. Trilex reporter Grant Sloan spoke with one, so you can help streamline this process. Grant. Well, Jennifer, the. Well, Jennifer, the University of Missouri Extension Center offers five different locations here in Stone and Taney counties. And many of the items, if not all of the items that are necessary here, are also necessary at some of the other free income tax, income tax assistance services across the area. The deadline to file income taxes is three months away, but slots at this volunteer income tax assistance office are already being booked. Last year we did a little over 2,000 returns in Stone and Taney counties. Family financial education specialist Nellie Lammers says there's still time to make an appointment for free return help if you make less than $53,000 a year. But she says there's a few things people should know before they walk through the doors. We don't do business taxes. We don't do any itemized taxes. We don't do capital gains and losses. One thing that's a, a really big issue this year because of the Affordable Care Act, if people got health insurance through the marketplace, they have to bring a Form 1095A that they will get from their insurance company. There's also a checklist, original Social Security cards for you and your dependents, a picture ID, all W-2s or 1099s, and a blank check if you'd like your refund direct deposited. Also, did you receive unemployment compensation, you need total payments on student loan interest or tuition, and you need the total expense, name, and tax ID number for child care providers. We do a lot of returns where people are eligible and receive the earned income credit. Lammer says most people know the credits they qualify for already, but questions often arise about insurance. Some people aren't quite as sure of, you know, can they maybe get tax credits to help pay for insurance premiums or are they going to have to pay a penalty if they didn't have insurance or do they have an exemption? A lot of people will have an exemption. Questions Lammer says can be answered online, but it can be easier face to face. We go over everyone's return once it's done to help them understand what's on the return, uh, you know, how, how they're getting the money back or why they have to pay money. Now, the information that you need to bring will be discussed whenever you set up an appointment over the phone. Now, for information including times and locations here in Stone and Taney counties and really across the area, we'll be posting some of that information online at OzarksFirst.com. All right, Grant Sloan live from Branson tonight. Thanks. Also making